If you're looking for unfiltered funny, get excited because today I am hanging out with comedian and author Jenny Mullen, who always seems to find the best of New York City, and today she's showing me some of her favorites. First up is Alice and Olivia. Jenny, I'm so excited to be hanging out with you today because you always know where all of the coolest things are. So first of all, tell me how you find all of these things and why we're here. I think I find these things because I, I guess I have too much time on my hands. <laughs> But you know, when I'm not working, I'm just really just sitting around my apartment, uh, scrolling Instagram. <laughs> so, so I tend to just get into shenanigans and find random things to explore. I have to be downtown though. It all has to be downtown. I can't, I can't go uptown because okay. I, I won't find my way back. Okay, got it. So it's convenient that there is an Alice and Olivia store in meatpacking. Uh, I like to come here a lot. My best friend Stacy works across the street. She's you know, the uh, the designer, yeah. so that helps. That helps me get away with, one, using the bathroom, uh -huh. which is like crucial during these trying times. Nobody will let you use the bathroom. So cool hidden gem places and also yes. secrets to survival here in New York. Secrets to survival. <laughs> we have to talk about the casual line that you modeled for. Yes. This is the first time they've ever done this, right? So yes. tell me a little bit about that. Well, I'm a late in life model. I don't Great. want to intimidate you, but like <laughs> at 41, I decided to just like, you know, launch my modeling career. I modeled for Stacey's Casuals for a Cause collection. So yeah, it was, it was very exciting. I'm waiting for my next gig, you okay. know, because now like I feel like I've blown up. Yeah. It's time for me to start doing like... Put it out there. Jenny yeah. is available. Magazine covers, <laughs> yeah. catwalks, right. the whole thing. If they ever come back, like yeah. Fashion Week, you'll be headlining. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm yeah. going to crush Fashion Week. Perfect. But there's so much more here. So like, I would love to just show you around. Yeah, let's do it. Let's try some looks on you. Okay. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. So why don't you do these? Okay. Cute. I love this look. Oh, so soft. And too. I'll match you. How about we match? I'd love that. I am obsessed. Wait, did you pose? <laughs> Hold on, I gotta posing? pose. Hold on, let's I do mean. it again. <laughs> I don't know how to pose like you. I'm not a real model. Oh, I'm not a model. Well, at I'm all. not a real model either. I'm just <laughs> sort of winging it. Okay, so next stop is the Standard. Nice. It's not exactly Central Park, but we do have some trees for you. Okay, so basically I need to come everywhere with you every day. This is yes. insane. This is how I like to eat on a daily basis. <laughs> Just a simple light lunch of a vat of cheese. And a vat of uh, chocolate. And a vat of chocolate, yeah. Good. And then I thought we could top things off with some hot cocoa and you know, hot cocoa is never hot cocoa unless you have a giant marshmallow and a thin mint. This is also picturesque. Isn't so Instagrammable. Yeah. They usually have the ice skating rink and this year they're doing movies in the forest. Cute. You can like tuck behind a tree and over <laughs> here watch. I'm going to be seeing Truth or Dare in a few weeks. Oh fun. Which is, you know, a family classic that I believe, you know, my sons should be exposed to. And yeah, this is just, it's just a cute neighborhood place if you want to get cozy and have a have an outdoor distanced winter meal. And I also feel like it's very ski lodge chic, like yes. I'm going, like I'm somewhere else, even though we're literally yes. right in the middle of the city. Exactly, and since we can't get to Austria this year, right. this is the closest <laughs> we're coming. But I'll take it, this is great. That's beyond incredible. So good. Mm. So if there's one thing that I love as much, if not more than stalking my husband's ex-girlfriend online, uh -huh. it's jewelry. Okay. So I wanted to make sure we hit this new jewelry store in the West Village called Muse. The owner, Jennifer, she's repped a bunch of designers for years and during COVID decided that she should open up a storefront because, you know, Barney's closed. So they have so much amazing stuff here. So many just like true artists and something that I'm specifically sort of obsessed with and really want to be a part of is the Have a Heart series. So. What they do here, it's like 30 designers and they all make a charm. And then they find an ambassador who basically comes in, tries on a bunch of jewelry. That sounds like the most amazing job amazing ever, job ever right? right? Uh, and picks which charms will go towards the charity of her choice. I and so then a proceed that. goes towards that charity. And that's what's so fun about jewelry. This sort of forces you to experiment and play. And then you start, start, sort of start to notice that like, oh, I can kind of like tell my own story. Okay, so we have our beautiful jewels. This has yes. basically been the best yes. day ever. Jenny, thank you so much. I wanna hang out with you all the time now. Please, hang out with me all the time. Okay, great. <laughs>